everybody, welcome back, welcome back to Area 51, welcome back to the Star Wars Lounge, as I like to call it. And we are here for episode 23 of Forgotten Figures, and new stuff as well. It's kind of a, a roundup now, I guess you could call it, because I am showing stuff that I've got uh, at the secondhand stores, and of course new stuff that I've picked up, so I'm incorporating it all into one video. So it's Forgotten Figures slash um, update, I guess that's what we'll call it. So, we're going to start off like we always do with the newest stuff that I found on the shelves in the last week or two and uh, found this guy to continue the set, Mr. D, and this is the uh, Masters of the WWE, the wrestling uh, group, and I, uh, there was, this is the th fourth wave, uh, most of them were there, but I just picked up Mr. T, because I kind of just, I, I'm not really invested in this run, I, I do have the whole second run, uh, I missed the first, um, and, or just the third, anyways, I just figured I'd better pick this guy up because Mr. T was, uh, he's just a character you gotta get, so good looking, and there he is on the back, but uh, I don't know if I'll get the whole wave, I, I might, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, next thing that I picked up finally was The Child, the Black Series The Child, and uh, look how teeny he is. Uh, the reason that it took me so long to find this guy is um, I never saw him on the shelves, ever. And I was at Toys R Us and I picked up another figure I'm going to show you in a couple minutes. And as I was going out, I asked them when they would, if they were going to be getting any of these. She said, oh, we've had them for months. She said, well, we have to keep them behind the counter because people just stick them in their pocket and walk out the door. So, um, yeah, so I said, well, I'll take one. And I finally got him, but he's been there for months. I just didn't realize. Uh, Walmart won't even carry these here in my area because they just simply walk out the door. So they're so small. I mean, you could wrap them up in your uh, sleeve. They're like a pack of smokes in the old days. But uh, yeah, the child uh, had to get him, and uh, now I have him. So there we go. Uh, that segue brings us to Hondo. Uh, Hondo oh, Honaka. And this is from the, uh, uh, yeah, the trading post, the transported from the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge trading post. Um, I don't know a lot about Hondo. I don't watch any of the animated stuff. I don't know much about this guy. I just know that he's hot right now, and I figured I'd better grab him up. And of course, he's in a box that I think is kind of unnumbered or anything like that. A little bit of a... I know that if you go in the Galaxy's Edge uh, uh, Millennium Falcon ride, I think he's part of that. I'm not sure. I haven't been there. I've just seen bits and pieces. hope the sun isn't driving you guys crazy. But I have to pick up Hondo. I probably will do an out-of-box uh, review on him here at some point in time, but I had to get this guy. Uh, it's just, you know, part of the thing that I had to get. Uh, grab this one up as well. It's been sitting on the shelf for a while, but I figured I'd better get this one. Of course, this is Azrael. I think one of the nicer looking uh, figures that has been released this year. He, I will be doing an unboxing of him as well, but uh, this is just, uh, again, McFarland just knocking it out of the park with this line. Uh, there's some really nice ones that have come out with this. This is, again, older, uh, but I decided to grab it up before it disappeared totally. I think it's one of the nicer ones. And, of course, you know, nice arc on the back. I don't know a lot about Azrael, uh, but I just love this figure. I think it looks absolutely amazing. There will be an unboxing review on him coming, so stay tuned for that. Uh, then I went into my dollar store, and my dollar store, Dollarama, is really kicking it these days. They've got a lot of amazing... Uh, trade paperbacks and some of these figures. Now this is older, this is the Avengers, um, from the Avengers movie, uh, it was quite a while ago, but this is the Chitari, and I have not seen the Chitari, uh, many figures of the Chitari, and uh, this was sitting on the shelf, uh, this was on sale for four dollars, so I grabbed it up, and uh, there he is there, there's the back, the rest of the crew that you can get in that series. But uh, this is what I like about our dollar store. They come out with this kind of stuff every once in a while. Just out of the blue, you kind of got to be on your toes. Fall seems to be the time when they start unleashing this stuff. And I'm going to have a review on a bunch of uh, hardback copy uh, trades that I got as well for next to nothing. So, Chitari. I've never seen the Chitari. I think the mask comes off on this guy. I'm not 100% sure, but I think the mask does come off. Pretty cool looking. And then I had to pick this one up. Ant-Man, same series. I have to pick up the Ant-Man, because actually you kind of get two figures in this one. You get the Ant-Man himself, there he is, but you also get this, uh, this where he's shrinking down. And if you look hard enough, you can see there's a little tiny Ant-Man right there. So you actually kind of get two figures with this one. Plus, I like the Ant-Man, and he's in his, um, what do they call this, this time travel gear um, from the movie? I can't remember what it is. So there it is like that. Uh, there is a couple more of these up there that I probably will be picking up today. What the heck, why not? Um, still on the three dollar sale up at Walmart. Picked up the Teenage Rise of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Picked up April. Absolutely had to pick up April. Uh, again, a series that didn't really fly for a lot of people. 
but uh, Walmart is blowing these things out at three bucks a piece. And uh, I'm gonna grab it. And then this guy, this guy is yeah, the Foot Clan Lieutenant. Again, three dollars. Why, why wouldn't I? And last on the list, um, getting closer to completion of the um, Real Ghostbusters. Picked up the Green Ghost. Oddly enough, it's called the Green Ghost. I don't know why they don't call him Slimer. I don't know if there's a, a, a legal reason they don't, or if that's just a slang term that we've given him over the years. And he's actually really known as the Green Ghost. I don't know. But there he is. Picked him up. And uh, the rest of the crew. Now, all I'm missing is Mr. Stay Puffed. And if I come across him, great. If I don't, also great. i just uh, getting closer to finishing the complete line off. Um, but he looks great. He doesn't go in the dark or anything like my other one. And he's got some pizza and a piece of meat there. And what else has he got? Uh, oh, a watermelon. Looks good. So, uh, that's all the new stuff I've got. So, we are going to set up the street scenes. And we're going to go to the most favorite part of this that I love. And that's showing you some of the used figures that I managed to snag and bring back to the Star Wars lounge. So, let's get the street scenes set up and have a look at uh, what we got. And first up is this 2007 animated Megatron uh, figure. The blades are missing. Uh, he turns into kind of a helicopter. He does have some... So he still works. Uh, you can collapse him down. So he says a pile of stuff and he lights up. So there you go. Megatron from the animated series 2017. The gun and the blades are missing. And uh, again, that's what kind of happens when you uh, are buying these. Uh, sometimes stuff goes missing. So we'll move Megatron out of the way because he takes up a lot of room. So finally found uh, one of these. This is from 1977. And this is my first Mighty Ducks uh, from 1997. This is Nosedive. He's five and three quarters and he is missing the duck cycle, but he does have his removable backpack right here. This backpack pops off. And uh, there's supposed to be a little bit of a duck cycle that's uh, attached to it. So my first Mighty Duck, I have uh, been waiting to find one of these, so I'm pretty happy to have found it. Never did see the movie, but uh, uh, I just... And this is from the animated series, obviously. And uh, we'll move old uh, nosedive over there. Uh, found this, which, uh, you know, I was really happy to find. Uh, this is from the Marvel Legends X-Men Galactic series. And this is Nightcrawler. And uh, I'm not sure... Uh, 2005 Nightcrawler. Uh, and this came uh, on card with a 24-page poster book. And um, he's kind of a uh, hard one to stand, but uh, yeah, Nightcrawler. If you can get a Nightcrawler, you grab him up as quickly as you can because you don't see them very often. So uh, very happy to have that. And that's from the Galactic Series, 2005 Galactic Series. Okay, what do we got here? We have Drax. This is from 2017. He's pretty loose, so I might have to hold old Drax up here. Oops. He's very loose, as a matter of fact. I'm going to have to try and tighten him up. And Drax is missing his axe. He comes with an axe, and uh, he's missing the axe. But this is a good-looking Drax figure. And again, it is from 2017. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. What can you do there? So move him out of the way before he falls over, because he is so loose, it's just ridiculous. I uh, came across this. Uh, this is a by a company called Batliff, and it is a tariff action figure. Um, these kind of came in a kind of a set. They're almost like those Schlag sets. Uh, I'm assuming he had a weapon. You can see his hand. He probably had a weapon at one point in time. So he's some sort of medieval uh, figure uh, that came in one of those sets that you find at those little trendy uh, shishi stores sort of thing. Uh, doesn't move, no articulation of any kind. Really couldn't find too much information on him at all. Um, then I found another wrestling figure. This is from 2011. Took me a while to figure out who this was. This is The Undertaker. And this is from the 2011 um, series. Now, some enterprising young man decided to run a magic marker down the front of his face, and I can't get it off. But, you know, he did such a nice straight line. I mean, look how straight line that is. He did such a nice straight line that I'm just going to leave it on. I have no choice. I'm going to leave it on. But this is The Undertaker. It took me a while to figure out who this was. Great tattoos on the arms. Uh, this has been played with very well as well because he is loose as the day is long. So I'm going to put him up here because he's going to join Drax because he's so loose. Uh, then I found this. This uh, TMNT and that'll be... Uh, I'm 
sure that uh, Nerd Cave nerds would be able to tell me who this is, or, you know, who this, or what set this is. Jeez, I can't get him to stand. So, oh, there we go. And that is the 1991 TMNT Donatello Slam Duncan Don, and he's missing the ball. The ball should be in his uh, right hand there. But very happy to have found this little guy. I think he looks pretty good. Uh, found him in a bag with a couple other turtles that I'll show you, but I mean, he looks really good. Nice numbering on the back. So I'm going to put him over here. And speaking of turtles, uh, this is the, again, this is yeah, 1990 TMNT, and he doesn't stand at all. Oh, because I said that, now he stands. This is the 1990 Sewer Samurai Leo. Uh, he has no flag, and he's missing his shield, which I think is a manhole cover. But uh, I do like the look of the samurai look on him and the colors and everything. He's very nice looking. Um, very nice looking. Figured all he's got that real samurai look. Very nice, I like that. So I'm gonna put him over here. Hopefully he'll continue to stand. Okay. Then I picked this up, and this one is called the um, uh, come on baby. And he's loose too. That's one thing about these toys, they're so loose when you get them because they were played with. This is the 2004 Air Ninja Raphael. And uh, he's got a little button on the front of him here. I'm going to see if I can get him to do the action without screwing it up. So if you press the button, boop, one arm goes up. There we go, the second arm goes up. So I'm assuming, and maybe Marcello can let me know, I think this is one of the guys that's on those zip line. Uh, I think it's one of those zip line TMNT or uh, Nerd Cave, if you want to let me know. But I think that's where he comes from. So that is the 2004 Air Ninja uh, Raphael. And again, if I've got the uh, turtle wrong, let me know because I'm not the best at figuring out who these turtles are. So uh, let me know what that one is. I'm going to put him over here. Ah, uh, okay. And then I found this uh, very old from 1983. He's extremely loose. I'm going to have to lean him up against the wall here. I don't think he'll stand on his own. Oh, there we go. That is the 1983 Superpower Superman figure. And he's been played with his... his uh, chest deco is almost gone his hair is all mussed up but from that's from 83 and I'm sure he got a lot of play at the time and uh, he is a good-looking vintage figure uh, very happy to have found him I'm not a huge Superman fan and I'm not but uh, he looks amazing <laughs> I'll push him over here hopefully he doesn't bail out on me there we go uh, then speaking of Superman we'll segue into Batman and there's Batman right here and this is one of those uh, this is from 2016 this is the Schneg. JLA Batman versus Harley 2-pack. There should be a Harley that went with this, uh, but there isn't. It's not super well done. I mean, it, it's, again, one of those box toys that you find at one of those boutique places. Uh, I mean, it's a Batman, but not a not a super fantastic Batman, but he looks okay. But there should be a Harley that came with that, and there wasn't. Uh, picked up another one of these, the Friction Batman Cycle. I think this is about my 10th or 15th one of these. Can't pass them. McDonald's toy. Everything I'm going to show you now is pretty much McDonald's toy. Uh, picked up another one of these for the McDonald's set, another uh, turtle. And um, another a small Hulk, very small Hulk. And this is from a pack that was, oh, oh my goodness. This is from a pack that was called uh, Hulk, the Age of Ultron versus Sub Ultron uh, 003. Very small Hulk figure. He came in a pack. So I'll get him out of the way. I'll put the bike back up again. And then I just found this guy, and he is a parts turtle. I've got several of these. He should have a tank on his back. He should have a wand in his hand. Um, it's kind of a, an ooze shooter, uh, but he is missing just about everything. But I do pick these up just in case somebody is looking for parts. I mean, it looks like I think the dog might have got at him at some point in time. No, this isn't the one. I have another one that looks like the dog got out of him. He's pretty chewed up. But uh, I picked him up basically for parts. Uh, if anybody's ever needing a piece or, you know, somebody has all of the uh, accessories but actually doesn't have the figure, well, I've got him in, in, in stock here. But that's pretty much all I found for the used stuff. And I love the used stuff. It's, it's most enjoyable. Um, so I'll set them all up and we'll close out. And uh, I'll let you get on with your day. Thanks a lot, everyone. Well, that's I will it, be right back. That's it for this, uh, I guess, this week's roundup or this episode's roundup of Forgotten Figures and uh, what I picked up on the new stuff hope you enjoyed it uh, let me know which was your favorite out of the used stuff or even the box stuff uh, if you're getting some of it uh, my favorite I think out of this whole works probably was 
probably the uh, Megatron, uh, just basically because he has all the action and he talks and stuff. And I think he looks good. That's the uh, animated Megatron, this guy right here. I think it was my favorite. But let me know what your favorite was. Uh, I will be back with a uh, trade paperback. Well, I guess it's not trade paperback. Uh, it's not omnibus either because they're pretty small. But my dollar store has uh, brought in a ton of uh, older uh, trade paperbacks at a fraction of the cost. And I've picked up quite a few, so I'm going to show those to you on the next one. And I uh, just thought I would bring this by. Again, I love doing these. I love picking up figures. Uh, it's my most favorite thing to do. But uh, Area 51, home of the superheroes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment behind. I love the comments. We can stay in touch. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. So we'll catch you on the next one, Area 51. See you later. Bye-bye.